Hi guys, welcome back to Geek English. Chào mừng tất cả các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh Geek English và trong video đặc biệt ngày hôm nay, mình xin được gửi đến các bạn một trong những câu chuyện cổ tích rất nổi tiếng mà chúng ta đã biết từ nhỏ nhưng mà dưới dạng uh, phiên bản tiếng Anh. Và các bạn nhớ xem đến cuối video để chúng ta có thêm một vài từ vựng liên quan đến chuyện tắm cám các bạn nhé. Now jump right in. The story of Tam and Cam. Once upon a time, in a far away village in Vietnam, there was a widower who lived with his beautiful beloved daughter. Her name was Tam, which means broken rice. Because her father was worried that nobody would take care of Tam, he remarried to a woman who later gave birth to a little girl who was as dark as rice bran. That they named Cam Rice Bran. The stepmother was so jealous of Tam's beauty that after her father passed away, she started to abuse her and forced her to do all the housework. One day, the mother sent Tam and Cam to go fishing and promised a reward: the one who caught most fish with the new ao im, a traditional Vietnamese bodice worn underneath a blouse and an overcoat. While Tam was working hard to catch a basket full of fish, Cam only wanted to play around, then spend her time picking up wild flowers. When they were about to go home, Cam told Tam to wash the mud out of her hair so the mother would not scold her. Cam innocently followed her stepsister's advice and went to the pond to wash her hair. After Tam had gone, Cam poured all the fish from Tam's basket into hers and ran home. When Tam came back and discovered that she had been tricked by Cam, she started sobbing uncontrollably. Until Bo, the Buddha appeared and comforted her, he told her to look into her basket and find the remaining little carp that she should bring to the well in her house backyard and feed it while singing this magical poem. Oh, my dear little carp. Come and eat the golden rice, silver rice of mine. Not to eat the stale rice on porch of the others. Tam carefully followed Book's instructions. Every day after her meal, she would come to the well, sing the poem until the carp came up from the water and fed it with the cooked rice. As the fish grew bigger, Tam's stepfather and Gam started to suspect her behavior. They eavesdropped on her singing and learned the poem. Then one day, the stepfather asked Tam to feed the buffalo in the further field. Then she and her daughter went to the well, sang the magic song, and caught and ate the poor little carp. When Tam discovered her carp was dead, she burst into tears. The Buddha appeared again and told her to put the carp's bones into four separate jars and bury them under the four corners of her bed. A short while later, the king proclaimed a big nationwide festival to look for a wife, and every unmarried woman was eligible. The stepmother and Cam made many new beautiful dresses and dressed up for the festival with the hope that they could capture the king's attention and become the queen. When Tam asked for permission to join the festival, her stepmother ordered Tam to throw down one big basket of mixed green beans and black beans into two separate baskets before she could go. Tam knew that she could never finish the job in time, and she cried. Then Buddha appeared again and sent hundreds of birds to help her. In a few minutes, the beans were sorted out into black and green. Although the job was done, Tam was still sad because she had nothing to wear to the festival. Buddha told her to dig up her four jars. Surprisingly, Tam found a beautiful blue and silver gown in the first jar, and a pair of golden embroidered slippers, and a saddle, and a horse in the others. She showed her gratefulness to Buddha and went to the festival. On the way to the festival. Tam was in such a hurry that she dropped one of her slippers in the stream. One of the kingdom's servants caught it and showed him the golden slipper. 
The king was amazed by the beauty of the slipper because he had never seen such a work of art before. He sent his word that the one whose feet would fit in this shoe would become the new queen. A great number of women from all over the country came to try on the slipper. However, no one could fit into the small little shoe. Finally, Tham tried it on and it fit perfectly. Not to mention, she also had the other slipper with the same wonderful craftsmanship. The king immediately announced her to be his queen and took her to the palace under her stepmother's and sister's jealous gaze. After moving into the palace, Tham lived happily and grew to love the king, but she never forgot her family. On Tham's father's death anniversary, she went home to prepare the offering for her father's altar. The stepmother asked Tham to climb the arica tree to pick some fruit, and when she was high on the tree, her wicked mother dropped it down. Tham fell into the pond and died. By tradition, Tham's sister, Gam, would marry the king in her place. Tham's pure and innocent soul turned into a beautiful nightingale and flew to the palace. Recognizing the spirit of his beloved late wife through the beautiful songs it sang, the king loved the bird very much. He put the nightingale in a golden cage, played with it and listened to it all day. Totally forgetting about Gam, Gam was very jealous and angry. On her mother's advice, she waited until the king was out and she killed the bird. Then she burned and buried the bird's feathers far away from the palace. From the feathers grew a big magnificent tea tree that had only one golden fruit with a very sweet, pleasant smell. One day, a poor old woman walked by and unable to resist the acrimatic smell, she sat below the tree and sang. Dear golden fruit, drop down to my back. I would only enjoy your smell. I would never eat you. The fruits fell into her back. She kept the fruit on her back and only smelled it as she promised. Since she brought the fruit home, every day after coming home from her errands, her house were perfectly tidy and hot meals were prepared for her. The miracle was happening continuously for a while until one day. In order to discover the secret, the old woman pretended to go out but came back early. Hiding herself behind the door, she found out a very beautiful lady walked out from the golden fruit and started cleaning the house. She ran in and tore up the fruit so the lady had to stay as her adoptive daughter. One day, when the king got lost while hunting, he stopped by the hut. The old woman offered him an arica nut wrapped in beetle leaves, a traditional snack of ancient Vietnamese, and the king was surprised by the way the beetle was skillfully rolled. He wanted to see who prepared the beetle. Tham came out and the king immediately realized that the girl was his late wife. He was overjoyed and took her back to the palace. Wondering why Tham had been loved by the king so much, Gam came to ask her how to have skin as fair as hers. Tham told Gam to take a bath in boiling water, which she gleefully did and died a painful death in the hot water. The stepmother cried a lot until she was blind and died not long after that. Tham became queen again and lived happily with the king.
Thank you for watching. And if you want to have more like this, please don't forget to click subscribe right here.